to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to use Sparkline in SSRS report. So we will be doing multiple things in this report. We'll be preparing the data, we'll be creating matrix report, we'll be using Sparkline item and then we'll be playing with some data labels and other features of Sparkline. So let me take you to the SSMS and show you the query I'm going to use in this report. So I'm selecting the region item sold uh, and then uh, I'm getting uh, the month name from the sold data and then I'm getting the month number from the sold data by using date name and date part functions and we are getting the data from total sale table. So if we run this query, this is what we are getting. So we have region, we have item sold and we have month. So we would like to create a summary report for the region and then some of the items sold each for each of the region and then a spark line for the sale in each of the month. So we would like to display as a line and we will use this month number column as well. I will show you where we will be using this one. So let's uh, take the copy of this uh, query and go to the SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Right click on the Reports tab, Add a New Item. Click on the Report, provide the name. So I'm going to call this one Sparkline. Add. Right click on the Data Sources, Add Data Source. Call this one DS Sales, our favorite name use shared data source reference that's going to be sales hit ok right click on data sets add data set and provide the name let's call this one dset sales use data set in embedded in my report find ds uh, select the data source provide the query you can provide the store procedure if you have one and i'm using select query hit ok in the design surface, right click, go to insert and matrix. Now we have matrix, let's adjust that, make it a little big so we can see the things. And here on the rows, I would like to have region and on the data, I would like to have sum of items sold. So we provided that one. And the last thing we'd like to see, the spark line. So I'm gonna click here, insert column inside the group on the right and that's where we would like to have a spark line. So now right click here, go to insert and say spark line. Now here we see different types of a spark line. So when we say spark line is more like, okay, we are using a, a lines, but here we also see columns, line, area, shape, and range. So these are different types uh, are available for us. We can use column, and uh, we would like to use the line. We can have the line here. I'm gonna start with the line and then we'll come back and play with other types as well. So let's start uh, with line, click on the line, hit, hit okay. And as you can see, the line is uh, displayed. Right now, it is not configured. So click here and you will see the da chart data window. Here we will be providing the values. I'm gonna use uh, the item sold and uh, the category group uh, is going to be the month name so that's what I would like to use here and now let's go ahead and preview the report and as you can see that for region Asia the total items sold are 10 but there is a line we see that there is a value so uh, or there are items sold here and that goes down and then goes up but we don't really know for which month it happened and which month it was up and which month it was down so the same way in North America, we don't really know what happened and which in which month and how many months we see here. First of all, I would like to display the data. So if you click here and say, sorry, click here, say show data labels. And that's the one way to see the data itself. So we can see that, okay, two items sold in some of the month, we don't know which month. And then again, two items sold here in the second month and one item sold and then five items sold. So total is 10. So this is one way we can see that, but still uh, we don't really see the actual month. Uh, there are multiple ways to do that. First, uh, we can maybe concatenate the month name with this value. That's one way. Other way is uh, 
maybe we would like to use uh, the tool tip uh, and by using the tool tip we can take a look uh, and uh, uh, that that's one way or the other other way could be just we don't care about this number and say just we want to display the month uh, so that's a different ways to do it uh, let me first uh, show let's uh, go ahead and show the month actually instead of these numbers uh, so let's say if we go to the series series label properties uh, instead of uh, showing this number let's gonna change uh, so we don't want to use any value from here let's click on FX and use the field called month name now we'll see the actual month names with this one so you can see in April uh, there is a value in July then in June it is pretty down and in May it is up one thing if you notice that the values are not sorted so May is here April is here so April May May should be right after the April so that's not right so one thing we need to sort the months uh, and uh, click here and we have month name here right click change category sorry category group properties uh, and then go to the sorting uh, and here it is sorted by the month name we would like to sort by the month number because uh, then it will be sorted correctly month names uh, are uh, in case we see that April then uh, uh, it, uh, is, uh, it is going to start with April always because it starts with A and January will be end up somewhere. So with the month number it will be correct. So hit OK. Now preview it and now you can see in April we have some sale in May it went up in June it came down and in July it's kind of steeped or oh, sorry it is kind of constant. In April for Europe it was up in September it went down and in October it went really down and uh, North America our growth uh, or item sold is increasing uh, over the time so that's uh, one way to take a look on this one also as I said that uh, this uh, expressions uh, if you go to series label properties uh, you can show or concatenate the month name with the value itself if you like uh, but maybe that's too much information in this case uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure even you would like to see these month names on top of that it depends uh, like on the requirement so anyways uh, you can change the labels according to your requirement so if you delete this one your choice um, if you want to change the fonts uh, let's say you would like to have very small fonts uh, you would like to have a uh, different uh, you want to fill it uh, with different color or something you can play with this one and different properties and uh, that that's kind of help in a way uh, to make it more interactive or more visual so it's your choice now as we have a spark line the next part uh, we would like to play and change uh, this spark line uh, change spark line uh, type so here we played with very simple now we can go with smooth so smooth is going to be more smoother and as we can see that the curves are smooth next uh, let's uh, change this one to the other one this is stepped uh, this is a uh, line with the markers uh, you can change and play with these ones it's pretty good so you can see the markers right here now you see that uh, okay next uh, we are gonna come back change it to spark line and this is the smooth line with marker doesn't really whole lot change it's the same thing let's go to the area one so this will be shaded so it is going to be same kind of lines but it will be more shaded area so hit okay now if we preview it we can see it is a more shaded so this is one way to present uh, the data. Uh, I'm not gonna play with this shaded all of them. So change spark line here. You can play with these ones and see what works best for you. Let's uh, go to the column and uh, here we have column or we have a stacked column or we have hundred percent stacked. So if I will change to the column now, it is gonna show me the columns. So if we go here, so now you can see that the columns are shown up. So we have uh, data in the bars uh, or column chart actually not bar bars will be more like uh, going horizontally this is going vertical so this is one way to do it and the uh, next uh, let's click this one and say spark line and uh, if you want to see in a pie that's also possible 
and it depends upon your data let's say you are playing with the uh, these are for stock so if you are playing the stock you might want to go with the these type so i'm not sure really like what works best for you it is depending on the data and the requirement so i just selected pi and in this case it is everything is merged um if i want to go ahead and give more space if i would like to have more space here and show everything that's possible so i'm going to make it a little big now if we see here we can tell from here okay asia total items sold uh, 10 and uh, this is where okay in may that's where we made the most of the sale and uh, if you would as i told you you can also label the month name with the uh, actual uh, item sold so that's possible so uh, by just going to the expressions and right clicking here you have a series label you can write the expression here and concatenate this month name with the value itself and uh, now you have item sold here you can concatenate and this will show if you would like now this is pretty much it you can convert this spark line to the full chart so if you right click here and go to the change spark line type um, this is sorry here see the, uh, if you click here on the side and then say change uh, convert to the full chart then it's going to convert to the full chart so you can see the month names and all that now and uh, now you have totally every property of a chart instead of a uh, uh, spark line a spark line was giving you some limited uh, properties but this uh, will give you everything so now you can see that uh, these uh, categories are or series are shown right here and uh, you can have full access uh, to the chart uh, and uh, if you would like to change this chart to change chart type instead of uh, now it is not saying change spark line type now it is giving you change chart type and you have a lot more chart types uh, right uh, here in the spark line we also did see these uh, column and uh, line and everything there but the scatter was missing polar was missing in the range we had uh, uh, some of them uh, actually there was a area one was there there was not really range but there was a uh, stock was there so uh, sparkling has some good charts uh, that can be really useful uh, in uh, that small uh, uh, column and uh, they, from looking at them you can quickly tell them okay uh, how the how the business was done in those uh, months uh, or over the time or whatever the uh, categories you are using. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.